Hi, I'm Joni Patree and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, today I want to talk about the rest of the year of 2021. This is going to be the most eventful part of the year and I think you'll understand why when I start to give you an idea of what's going on with the planets so much is evolving and as you probably feel it so much is bubbling up and it's about to come to a boiling point so with that before i begin i always want to remind everyone to sign up for my free newsletter where you can get all of my predictions delivered to your email address go to galacticcenter.org and while you're there don't forget to notice my spiritual jewelry and remember, if you want to, if you want to learn with me Vedic astrology, go to my university website, which is universityofvedicastrology.com. So now let's get going and talk about what's in store for us for the rest of the year and what is in store for us as all of these planets are mounting and building, coming together. There's going to be events that, well, we probably thought should have happened a lot earlier in the year, but now it's all coming to a head. And yes, there's going to be some explosive events all over the world. This is not just in one place. We're going to see we're going to see a lot of violence coming up because this solar eclipse that's about to happen in December is a really strong one. Uh, this solar eclipse is going to happen December 4th and where it's going to be is in Scorpio, very close to a very violent fixed star called Antares. So people are angry. People are upset. All over the world, people are, there's no more that can be imposed on them in terms of lockdowns. People have had it. And this is what we're going to see, the explosions of emotions around the world. And what comes of that? So much. It's going to be earthquakes, explosion, attacks. I know it sounds dreary, but it's been building and it's just the way that people are going to clear the air. The air has been full of tension and anger. Well, first, let's talk about October. October, we have Mars coming together with the sun. And on October 8th, when Mars does conjunct the sun in Virgo, Yes, there's going to be more of a crisis around the virus. Virgo's about disease. When you put malefic Mars there with the sun and come together, Mars has combust the sun the whole month of October. It's too close and it's going to be combust the sun again in November. Too close. October it's in Virgo. November it's in Libra. So watching for all of this you're going to see some events. This is a promise. Now, I believe there's probably going to be more in for lockdowns and fear around the virus in the month of October, but things are going to get very heated around the world in terms of people's beliefs about vaccines, in terms of people's beliefs about the virus. It's all going to come undone. Then I go to the month of November. And November looks like it's very explosive in the event that we have a new moon on November 4th, exactly oppose Uranus, the planet of change, disruption, breakdown, sudden. And I predict that November, December, there's going to be a lot more explosive events, but particularly even earthquakes, um, blow ups volcanic eruptions, things of this nature. You see, when people become angry, the earth reacts. This is part due from the mass emotional feelings of what's been going on around the world. Leaders are going to fall. You're going to see major leaders around the world. They're going to buckle under the pressure. 
It's not going to be able to come through. This will really be one of the most eventful times in history that we're going to see so much occur in such a short amount of time. One thing after another is due to happen. Uranus being in Aries though, and it's even in the nakshatra called Barani. Barani is the nakshatra of major, major breakthroughs. You're gonna see things change. Suddenly, awareness, consciousness. People are gonna become more aware and more conscious. What a wonderful thing that this will be, but Big changes never come unless the old is destroyed. It's just the law of the universe. So a lot is being destroyed in order for the new to come out. This really starts this last three months of the year, but watch how you're gonna see explosive events in November with Uranus opposing the new moon around November 4th. But going to December, here's where all, all begins to truly happen. This is gonna be the grand finale. So looking at the solar eclipse, December 4th, we have it at 18 degrees of Scorpio, which on that day, transiting Mars is at the last degree of Libra about to join forces with this sign and Mars coming together with K2 will be very violent. I have to warn everyone uh, fairly. So lay low this month. Yes, it's not the end of the world, but do not participate in any of these violent activities, which around December 15th will be the time that Mars comes together with K2. Now throughout this whole time period that we have, especially around December, this is the time of the Saturn square Uranus. Now this Saturn square Uranus has happened three times within the year of 2021. It is always a time of breakdown of the old in order to make way for the new. But what does that entail? That entails a lot of anger and violence because people don't change unless they have to. And this is what's happening. They have to, they're being forced and people will never be the same after this. The world will be a better place. That I can assure you, but we have to go through the fire to come out to the other side. This is what this, this is what is going to be happening. And the Saturn squaring Uranus happens for the third and final time in December. As I have told you before, first it happened sometime around in February, March, and then in Jul June, July. Now it's happening at the end of the year. And here is where everything that's been building comes to a head. And another thing that should come out of this time is a realization of the truth. And when the truth is exposed, yes, there's going to be some anger about what it's all about and who has been behind it. But more than anything, this will be a wake up for the world. And this wake up, as I've been calling it, the grand awakening, the great awakening, it's going to put us all pretty much with a higher level of consciousness because our leaders and people out there all over the world, I don't see a high level of consciousness. Really, there's low consciousness with those that have been leading us. And now it's time that we take, as I said, control for ourselves, understanding our power within, instead of looking for someone to lead us, a savior, in other words, that's what we do when we look to political leaders. 
It's not going to happen. We have to look within ourselves because we have to find that now is the time that we become empowered ourselves. This is what the Great Awakening is about. But getting back to the dates and times in December, because the 15th is monumental. Now, sometimes these, these aspects, when they hit dead on December 15th, it's usually around that time. It doesn't happen always on the day that it's exact, although it could. But this is the day the energy is the most violent. Then we also have another energetic period on December 30th, when Mars is going to cross over the previous eclipse degree, which is 18 degrees of Scorpio, when Mars crosses that, it causes events. So around the 29th, 30th, and 31st, so I would not go to any big gatherings of people on New Year's Eve. But even in January, we still have the intensity of the Mars going over these points. Mars will still be in Scorpio. And this is violet. This is the tail of the scorpion where the eclipses are and Mars is transiting. You have to know this is one of the most dangerous portions of the zodiac. So as this happens, there's the sting of something that comes about, but it will be a cleansing, and that's what we need. So in January, we're still in the realm of Mars being in Scorpio and intense, powerful events happening, but it is a purging of everything that's been going on. This purging is an awakening our planet needs it because the deception, the deceit, the denial, the fear that they have put out there to control the masses is wrong. And people are all waking up. What a beautiful and wonderful thing to not be in disillusionment anymore, to find our sense of power within ourselves. Take that, grow with it. Your life will be better because of it. So with that, I'd like to close. If you would like more information on me, uh, would like a reading, you can always go to my website, which is galacticcenter.org. Sign up for my free newsletter. And remember, I will be starting new classes soon with the university. Check it out. University of Vedic Astrology.com. Thank you.